I'm going to show you a fun, easy, and inexpensive way to make a picket fence using this foam board that you could get from Dollar Tree. So first off, I just made a stencil of one of the pickets, and I'm just outlining it right onto my piece of foam board. And I did this for a total of six pickets all together. And then to be able to cut these pickets right out, I'm just using a sharp box cutter. You could also use an X-Acto knife. Definitely, please be careful while doing this step. Make sure you put something underneath the foam board to protect any surface that you're working on. And again, you want to cut all six of the pickets right out. So now I'm gonna show you how to make a faux wood look on this foam board. So I'm just starting off with just puncturing some of that foam with my fingernail. And I just did this randomly throughout the foam. So now I'll be using some Waverly chalk paints in the color ink. And I dabbed some of that chalk paint on the spots where I punctured it with my nail. And I like to use my finger just to blend it in. So I did not dry the black chalk paint before moving on. So now I'm using some Waverly Antique Wax. I'm using that same paintbrush that I used with that black chalk paint. I didn't wash it or anything. So I'm just applying that Antique Wax. And then I'm going in with a rag and I'm just wiping some of that excess off and that rag is also blending that antique wax in with the black chalk paint so you could add more antique wax to this to make it darker or you can make it as light as you want so again i just did this to all six of those pickets so i still had some excess on that foam board so I'm just measuring out some pieces to the same width of the pickets. And these are going to be the rails of the picket fence. And I'm just doing the same method that I did before with the pickets. Just punctured some spots with my fingernail, applied that black chalk paint, blended it with my fingers, and then just started applying that antique wax wiping off some of that excess, and then using that rag to also blend the antique wax with the black chalk paints. And then you want to just allow all of this to completely dry before moving on to the next step. So now I wanted the pickets to look like they were weathered wood. So I'm just doing a dry brush method using folk art chalk paint in the color white. So you wanna just put some of that chalk paint on your paintbrush. And then you also want to offload some of it because you really don't wanna have a lot on your paintbrush. And then you wanna just begin lightly applying this all throughout the boards. And I absolutely loved how these came out. Just allow those all to completely dry and now we're going to go ahead and assemble this together. So to be honest, I just eyeballed the placements. So I placed all the pickets face down and then just placed the slats right behind them. One at the top and one on the bottom. So I'm using this adhesive glue you could find from Dollar Tree. It's a great substitute for E6000. And I'm just using a mixture of hot glue to hold these all together. And just look at how amazing this came out. So now I wanted this to stand up on its own. So I got these Jenga blocks, also came from Dollar Tree. I just hot glued two of them together placed another two on top, and then two more on top of the others. So there should be a total of six Jenga blocks glued all together. I then just grabbed my picket fence, found a good placement for those Jenga blocks. Again, I'm using that adhesive glue with a mixture of hot glue. Held the fence up. 
so that way I had the perfect placement for this fence. You then could just decorate it however you want, change it up to whatever season or holiday it may be. I had so much fun creating this. I really hope this inspires you to create your own. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so, so much, and I hope you all have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.